Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared with Stampede Blue. This is your Indianapolis Colts postgame wrap. And yes, the Colts lost today at home to the Cincinnati Bengals to start the 2018 season. Final score was 34 to 23. If there were any questions as to whether or not Andrew Luck is back or not, I'd just ask you to look at his completion percentage against one of the better defensive lines and a couple of the better cornerbacks we'll see this season. Can't say much for the coaching, though, right? Just kidding. Now, the Colts did get torched by Andy Dalton. They did get beat by A.J. Green, and they did turn the ball over in the red zone or in the green zone twice. One, Andrew Luck threw an interception on a pass attempt to Jack Doyle that was ultimately batted up in the air and was a 50-50 ball and could have absolutely gone for an incomplete. It didn't. And then Jack Doyle also fumbled the football on what would have been a first down late in the game, down by less than a touchdown, in the two-minute drill with Andrew Luck at quarterback. Uh, we could have absolutely won this game. However, the real reasons that the Colts lost this game today are the same reasons that we lose games every year. The Colts do not have an established running game. They have running backs in Naheem Hines and Jordan Wilkins that are great in space, but they're not good north-south runners. They're not good runners of the football. I'd also like to point out that of all of the receivers on the Colts, T.Y. Hilton caught 5 of 11 targets today. Yes, he scored a touchdown, and yes, he is the best receiver the Colts have. Jack Doyle led the Colts in receiving today and was backed up by Ryan Grant. And if there were any questions about why is Ryan Grant on this team, those questions got answered today, right? If you had any questions as to why the Colts brought in Eric Ebron, that, that question got answered today. Although I kind of wonder why he wasn't on the field late in the game, given the rapport he had with Andrew Luck and how dire it was that we scored a touchdown on that possession. But I'm not a football coach. And I'm not going to lie, I had to take a shower after that game, because uh, who didn't think the officiating was dirty? Uh, I'm still kind of wondering why Carlos Dunlap was in the game. As far as I can remember, he did get two roughing the passer personal foul penalties one the second one looked particularly egregious uh it looked like he was trying to hurt andrew luck and uh i get it it's a game of football uh but i saw guys leading with their helmet on andrew luck in uh, mr williams that got ejected in the first half and then carlos dunlap did it too uh it's one thing to hit a guy it's another thing to kind of go after a guy and I kind of felt like that was what was happening today. That speaks to the coaching of the Bengals. Because players don't do that unless they're coached to do it. Um, so that said, the Colts' defense uh, got carved up by Andy Dalton. But more importantly, they got beat by the likes of John Ross and A.J. Green um, and Joe Mixon. So the Colts need a pass rusher. They need Marlon Mack back real bad. And the officiating crews need to clean up their act a little bit because it was kind of bad. It was kind of obviously bad today. And like I said, when I'm sitting here pointing out, like I'm pretty sure Carlos Dunlap had two roughing the passenger, roughing the passenger uh, personal fouls. Those are supposed to result in an ejection on the second one. And it didn't. And then he got a sack later on Joe Hegg, which I think we all knew was going to happen. So, moving forward, the Colts should get Anthony Costanzo back, shore up the left side of the offensive line, and make it so where we don't give up any sacks at all today. Uh, if we have Anthony Costanzo is healthy, maybe Carlos Dunlap doesn't get that sack. Um, if we have an established rushing game, Maybe T.Y. doesn't get blanketed uh, in man coverage from a corner with a safety over the top every play. Maybe um, if the Colts have an established run game, maybe the guys like Naheem Hines and Jordan Wilkins uh, come in as a little more of a spark plug and have that big play potential because teams kind of get lulled into playing a four-down game if you're able to run the ball. Uh, consistently the Colts looked real good in the first half and then came out in the second half and just couldn't put it together um, but that said though it is week one and the Colts 
aren't currently in overtime with the Browns, Steelers, and didn't get trounced by Joe Flacco and the Ravens today, who last I checked were beating the Bills 40-7. to So I get it, a loss is a loss, but look at these other teams in the league and how far behind the eight ball they are week one and be encouraged. We have a running back coming back, a tackle coming back, Hassan Ridgeway didn't play today. All three of those players could have been the difference in the game. But if we're going to talk X's and O's and what actually happened, Andrew Luck threw a, an interception on the five-yard line, his first pass, and Jack Doyle fumbled the football away, which got returned for a touchdown in what would have been the game-winning drive for the Colts. So it's such a – your whole life is a 50-50, right? Same as could be said about football. Uh, we didn't win the turnover battle. Although A.J. Green did fumble the ball twice, Clayton Gathers. We only forced two turnovers, one pick, one fumble recovery. And we turned the ball over twice. So when you are neutral in turnovers, and you obviously don't outscore your opponent, you don't win. <laughs> but the Colts did outgain the Bengals. So that's, that's a good thing, right? The offense was able to move the ball easily. Um, and we'll just kind of see what happens as we move forward. And again, I just want to point out that as much crap as I talk about the Bengals, they really do have a pretty good defense. Andy Dalton is a serviceable quarterback. Joe Mixon looks an absolute beast mode running back, but everyone looks great against the Colts defense, right? And then A.J. Green is A.J. Green. And when earlier this week in my trash talking about this game, I said that the Bengals are a two-trick pony, right? Joe Mixon and A.J. Green. And both those guys lit the Colts up. So it wasn't wrong. But again, I say, if we can establish and develop and or develop our pass rush, solidify that offensive line, and cover a number one receiver at all, Pierre Desir, where were you? Uh, I think that the outcomes are going to be favorable moving forward more often than not. And then that doesn't even speak to draft cap, draft capital, cap space, the free agency market that we could delve into if we really thought we could compete this year. Um, so yeah, Colts lost, but I'm encouraged. You should be encouraged. If you took a year off because Andrew did, welcome back. Go Colts. We'll see you next week.